couple weeks ago, I made a video charging my Tesla Model 3 with my solar and power wall and no grid connection. It was showing this new feature between the solar and the power wall in the Model 3 where it can ramp charging rates up and down to follow what's coming in from the solar. Feature works great, but it also uncovered an issue in the house. See, what happens when the battery is fully charged and there's more solar coming in than everything in the house can use, it has to turn that solar off because it just has nowhere to go. So the way it does that is it raises the frequency in the house. We saw the power wall raise the frequency to 65 hertz, and that's what gives the inverter the signal to shut down. The problem was that that also affects uninterruptible power supplies in the house, so UPSs. So everything that I had connected in the house to a UPS saw that grid frequency go up and that put the UPS on battery backup. Well, eventually those batteries died and everything connected to the UPS is shut down. So even though the power wall was supplying power to the house, those devices had no power. So the only thing I could really do was unplug them from the UPS and plug them directly into the wall. But somebody left a comment on that video saying that that's actually something that Tesla can adjust. So I gave them a call at the normal energy support number and it took them about two weeks, but they did it. They asked me which model of UPS I have and they asked me to look in the manual and see what its high frequency setting was. And for mine, it's a CyberPower 1350 PFC LCD and its high set point is 62 hertz. So supposedly, they've changed my system now to go to 62 hertz instead of 65. And they asked me to test and see if the UPSs are now happy with that. So back again, similar situation. I have my laptop with a home assistant software running on it with a display pulled up of basically what you would see from the Powerwall app. And we also have our battery frequency down here. So right now, battery is fully charged. We're sending 2.3 kilowatts back out to the grid. So this is a situation where if we lost the grid right now, power has nowhere to go. The Powerwall is going to shut down the solar. So we're expecting this battery frequency to go up. Now, I also have a camera pointed at the UPS so we can see what it's doing. It should stay online and we should see its frequency only go to 62 instead of 65. So let's do it. So saw a little flash. I hear the inverter shutting down. Here on the display, solar is now at zero kilowatts. Battery frequency is 61.93. It'll probably be 62 the next time it updates here. So that's it, 62 hertz instead of 65. And if we check on the UPS, 62 also, still online. So looking good. So let's turn the power back on, reconnect the grid, and we should see that battery frequency come back down as the power wall is telling solar, hey, I can get some power again. So there we go, we're back down to 60 hertz. Everything's working like it should. Never saw a loss of power on the UPS and everything's coming back online. Had I known about this whenever I was getting solar and the power wall installed, I would have asked the installers to go ahead and do this setting. I'm sure that's available to them and it could save some time in the future, whether you have UPSs now or not. So definitely keep that in mind if you're getting a solar and power wall set up. But even if you have it already, it's a simple phone call and it just takes a couple weeks and they'll get you set up. So that's about it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.